Okay, and here's the fix to uh, we'll work on the S meter and the drake. Here's the uh, bad resistor. This is supposed to be, I think, 68 ohms, and uh, it looks like I don't think it's been singed, but it sure doesn't work right. So it's not 68 ohms. I can get about uh, 120 ohms out of it. I was getting about 220 out of it. Anyway. I put these resistors in here, these are the ones that don't match, right here. I had like a 44 and a, I think a 22 or something, so it's about 69 ohms, it's close enough. We'll see how that works out. Those are 1 watt resistors, so I hope they uh, have a good life in here in a strike. And if I can get the meter in here with one hand, I can show you how it looks. Of course, getting the meter in here and filming is not too easy, but let's see if it'll work. There's one probe. Here's the other one. Put it on the pin here. What do we get? Nothing. Okay. That's on there. Put this on here. Can't even get in there to do it. Well, that's not going to help the filming. I guess you have to be satisfied that it is about 60, um, 69 ohms there. I have this little kit from China, from Amazon. This has been really handy. So I bought these for fixing these uh, radios, and these have been really handy. So I found a 47 and a 22, and I put them in series, and that's about 69 ohms. So that worked out really well. And these are um, one watt resistors. So I'm hoping those work out. So now I'm curious what this thing will do. I'm going to flip it over and turn it on and see how it works. Take this off of here. Actually, I can just leave it upside down. That way I can still film. Let's see what happens with it. Let's find the power connector here. Plug this tricky in and see what happens. I always get worried that I'm going to shock myself. This thing is like has 650 volts in it. One of these pins is like 650 volts. It's not turned on, but it's like, holy crap. It's got to be dangerous. All right. That's in there. Let's turn this thing on and see what it does. No smoke yet. Oh, I didn't put the tube in. I got to put in V11. All right, well. Flip it over. There's little. Is this V11 here? Let's put him back in. Actually, you know what? Let's let's go through what this thing does with these tubes in the S meter, so you'll understand what I'm talking about. So here, here we go. Okay, we got the IF tube out, and we have the 68Q5 here. 68Q5 is in. So the only thing drawing on the bridge right now is a 6AQ5, so check this out. So I'll turn this thing on, turn the light off here, and you'll see the S meter will rise because the 12BA6 IF is not there to pull it down. So there it goes. It'll rise to about 20 or 30. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the zero, the zero right now is at the pin, so I'm gonna crank the zero here a bit. Crank this thing up. We'll crank it up to a 60, right? Maybe a little more. All right, so that's that. Now, we only have the uh, 6AQ5 in here, which runs really hot. So now if I pull both tubes out, this meter will zero because there's nothing on the bridge. So watch this. Take out the 6AQ5 and look at the meter and it's right smack at zero where it should be. Now, if I put the um, IF tube back in, I think it's V11 or V12 here, put him back in, or her or it, I don't want to be, you know, 
get in trouble here. Okay, so let's put this tube back in here. Okay, it's in. Give it a little push here. Come on. Okay, the tube is in. The meter will now go negative because that's the other side of the bridge. So the meter, is it going negative? Yeah, it's going negative. Because the bridge is on balanced, the 6AQ5 current source is out and off. So let's put 6AQ5 back in now, and then we'll have a full bridge. Then the meter will discern if the IF is working or not. Okay, we're in. 6AQ5 is in. What's the meter going to do? It should rise here a little bit. There it goes. Wow, it's really going up. So, now since both tubes are in, that's interesting. Now I'll try and do a zero on it. So I have the tuning all fouled up. Those signals. Let's do an S meter zero on it. If I can zero it. I hope I can. Nope, I can't I can't do a zero anymore. Oh that's bad. So I probably got some other bad resistor somewhere. That's as far down as I can go. Alright, well, what's that mean? Do I have any audio? Oh, I know why it's bad. The RF gain is down. Okay. Let's turn the RF gain all the way up. Because I had it down. But that will fix it. RF gain coming up. There. Now we'll do our zero. With the zero knob here, we're going to turn this until it goes to zero. Well, that's reassuring, isn't it? And now we can do a zero. S1, which is fine. And the knob is pretty much halfway. Now let's add a signal and see what happens. They say it should get an S9. Okay, there's a signal still running. Um, let's go to 80 meters. We're on 80. Calibrate is on. That's not too good. Oh, okay. I gotta adjust the uh, mix here. Okay. Well, I can't say it's an S9 or any improvement. Maybe a little higher, but not too much. So, that didn't make too much of a difference. I wonder if it's made it more sensitive, or I wonder if I could tune it a little more. With higher current to that tube, I wonder if it's changing the characteristics of it. So that's not so great. I wonder if I can just hear any better. Let's see. Let's go to calibrate off, SSB. That's about where it was. Put the antenna on if I can find it. In this big mess. Antenna is in the SDR radio. Here we go. Antenna. Antenna is not going to stay in there. Bend this thing again. Throw it in that way. Alright, it's in. Volume. Doesn't sound any different. Not much different at all. Well, 
thanks so much for that. Um, can I go to calibrate? Signal. Well, I'm not really getting an S9, but it's getting closer, so I wonder if I can if I can work the IF now a little bit and see if I can get it to work a little better. Alright, so here's the IF cans. They say just to go for max signal, so that's what I'll do. It's hard to take pictures with the camera and get your screwdriver in here. There we are. All right, let's try this out. Going down. I, I don't think this would actually detune the radio. Okay, that's peaked. Let's try this one here. Oh, everything's pretty well peaked up. So I'm thinking that that didn't make much difference at all. I'm still low somewhere on some RF gain, I think. It's still not too good. 40 meters. Nope, no change at all. So I'll tell you, old radios, they can be frustrating. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.